Lieutenant, why are you a captain or whoever captain. you are? Why are you approaching me aggressively like this? I'm, I'm a citizen. Do you understand yes. that? Do you respect citizens yes, in Florida? Why are you being so aggressive with me? Can you please back up? You have a weapon. I have no weapons. Can you please back up? You're intimidating me, sir. I'm starting to fear for my life. Can you please back up? Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. I just want to say really quickly, thank you for all of the great reviews you guys have been giving for the online video course titled Surviving the Police. This course was made with simplicity in mind. You don't have to be a lawyer, a police officer, or a judge to understand the law. Learn your rights. It's an online video course full of online video lessons, real life video examples, quizzes, and get this, you don't even have to take notes. I took them for you. It even comes with a pocket guide with the constitution, case law, and all the do's and don'ts when dealing with the police. Make sure you register today and don't be caught lacking. The link is in the description section below. Today on We The People University, we'll be featuring none other than Big Nick South Florida Accountability. I'm pretty sure you guys all have already subscribed to his channel, but just in case there's probably one, maybe two that haven't, make sure you go subscribe. And I'm sure some of you guys have already seen the community tab where me and Big Nick will be teaming up to bring you good content, educational content, so we can continue to help you, the people, learn your rights. Be sure to stay tuned for that. But let's get right into this video. We're going to take a look at the Fort Lauderdale Police Department, a police captain who comes up and tries to intimidate Big Nick. He obviously doesn't know who he's dealing with. Let's take a quick look at this video and we'll dive more into it later. Hey, since you engaged me, can I have your name and your badge number? Since you engaged me, can I have your name and your badge number? Have I broken the law? Have I done anything wrong? Have I done anything wrong? What's your name and your badge number? Captain David Wheeler, I need to see your identification, Are you familiar with the Florida Penal Code on presenting ID? I am. Commission of a crime, committed a crime, or about to commit a crime, which have I done? Activity, That's sir. not a crime. Is that a misdemeanor yes. or a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Law, I know the loitering laws. I'm not loitering. I'm actually conducting a business. So come up with something else. I'm not prowling. Have entered your property. So let's try another intimidation practice. Uh, it's not practice. an intimidation practice, sir. I like to know who yeah. you are. Yeah, well, you don't need to know who I am. Lieutenant, why are you? Or captain or whoever captain. you are, why are you approaching me aggressively like this? I'm, I'm a citizen. Do you understand yes. that? Do you respect citizens yes, in Florida? Why are you being so aggressive yes, with me? Can you please back up? You have a weapon. I have no weapons. That's Can you fine. please back up? You're intimidating me, sir. I'm starting to fear for my life. Fine. Can you please back up? You're Thank you. Not yet. not yet. Is that a threat? No, absolutely not. Oh. He may have said that wasn't a threat. Although he said it wasn't a threat, it is intimidation. And how does the state of Florida deal with intimidation? Let's find out. Violations of constitutional rights, civil action by the attorney general, civil penalty. Because why? Big Nick is trying to carry out his First Amendment right to record freely. Any person who interferes by threats, intimidation or coercion, or attempts to interfere by threats or intimidation or coercion with the exercise or enjoyment by any other person of rights secured by the state's constitution or laws of this state is liable for a civil penalty of not more than $10,000 for each violation. This penalty may be recovered in any action brought under this section by the attorney general. A civil penalty so collected shall accrue to the state and shall be deposited as received into the general revenue fund unallocated. So as we see, Big Nick, you may have $10,000 you can go and collect. I'm trying, why are you saying these are closed? I'm a journalist gathering content for a story, which is a constituted, constituted protective activity. 
First Let's Amendment, you ever heard of it? Can I see some journalists? You don't need to see them. I'm independent. That's the freedom of press. Anything else you'd like to learn about the law? Anything else you'd like to learn about the law? You're intimidating me, sir. I don't appreciate that. Hey, not intimidating me. You are. Can you please stop approaching me then? I didn't approach you. Ask you for your name and your badge. You true. can. If I feel like walking right, right toward you, toward your phone here. If you touch me, it's an assault. It is. It would be a battery if I touched you, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Not so let's not, let's not do that. So I know you guys are tired of seeing my face by now, but these videos are for educational purposes. And I want to educate because I want you to know your rights. You heard Big Nick say, hey, you're going to assault me. And the captain says that will be battery. He differentiated between the two. Let's find out what is assault and what is battery. Battery. The offensive battery occurs when a person actually and intentionally touches or strikes another person against the will of the other person or intentionally causes bodily harm to another person. That's battery. Assault. An assault is an intentional, unlawful threat by word, get this, or act to do violence to the person of another coupled with the apparent ability to do so and doing some act which creates a well-founded fear in such other person that such violence is imminent. Notice how the state of Florida defines assault. There's three things that must happen for assault to occur. One, the other party must do some type of act to make you think that they are going to harm you. Two, they must have the ability to do so. Three, they must create a well-founded fear in the other party. If all three are present, that is assault. Big Nick clearly said, stop walking up to me. I'm in fear of my life. And the captain clearly had the ability to harm Big Nick if he chose to. This is a clear case of assault. Let's not do that, Captain. I'm sure you respect it. I'm sure, I'm sure you love your qualified immunity. What's going on? Just recording. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know what his intimidation tactic is. Hey man, this is, come on, what's with the tyranny, man? This is America. Did you, did you take an oath to the constitution? What's your name, sir? Did you take an oath to the constitution? Can I have your name? You can call me daddy. Daddy, can I have your name? Daddy, or good citizen, which one do you prefer? Good citizen. But I really, I really would prefer if you back up. You're armed, you have all type of weapons on you. I have none, I'm just, I have a camera. I don't want to get shot 20 times, please. I don't know that. Neither of the other people think it was going to happen, but it did, didn't it? So please stop trying to intimidate me. Follow your oath, sir. Honor your oath. Are you four? Four. Please honor your oath. You're going to be a YouTube star, sir. Good. Yeah, okay. So they can see how Fort Lauderdale treats its citizens. Especially the law. You don't have to fight. It's not Germany. It's not Nazi Germany. There's no papers, please, here. You don't have to follow, understand who I am. 9-11 changed everything in the street. 9-11 didn't change my constitutional rights. No, it it didn't change the Fourth Amendment. So as we see, this wasn't a very long video, but Big Nick sent it over to me. He asked me to break it down. That captain is what I call a super tyrant. But do you know how to beat a super tyrant? You beat a super tyrant by knowing your rights. So make sure you know your rights. And if you're trying to learn your rights, down in the description section, download my ebook. The link is down there. Or you can click on the link above my head. Make sure you download my ebook so if you encounter the police, you know what they can and can't do. Thanks for tuning in. And with that being said, We the People University, signing off.